Hi, welcome to our Kiwi garden or our Kiwi kitchen today. It's been a bit of crappy weather lately. Hi, Fanny. <laughs> um, so the plan for this weekend was we were going to go and plant some seedlings that we bought the other weekend, um, but I walked out there and probably sank into my nice clay, so um, I didn't do that. So I thought we might do um, something around Kumara. So <clears throat> in this house, the person behind the camera loves Kumara. I love Kumara as well. And um, I thought, what a good thing. Hello, thumb. <laughs> I thought what a cool thing to try and grow. Um, I've never grown them before but growing up my parents used to have a big garden um, and they even took over the next door neighbours who was an old gent um, and they grew food, potatoes, kumaras, pumpkins and all that sort of stuff and we shared the food which was super awesome and I remember my dad um, planting all these kumara slips and going and <clears throat> pulling up the vines and fat, we used to go and find the kumara moth, there were these really like, weird um, caterpillars with horns. So it was our job, we had to go and pick them out. But anyway, I thought we would try and grow them. Um, we buy them all the time, so I wondered how many Kumara could I grow for like 50 cents, which is kind of the cost of a little Kumara. Um, now, I went and bought some little Kumara, <laughs> and then the person behind the camera you ate them. Technically, you bought one, though. Just or one. one. I'm, so I'm sorry, I bought, I bought one, that. and you got hungry and you ate it. I'm sorry, I ate your Kumara. <laughs> <laughs> so um, he went and he bought me a bag for $3. But um, in there are some really cool little wee tiny ones. So we've got golden kumara, which um, is really sweet and dry. Um, and we've got purple, purple kumara. Um, and these are probably less sweet and really quite starchy. They're real yum. They, these are the best roasting ones. The orange ones, yeah, they're a bit weird and... A bit watery. Watery yeah. and sloppy and stuff when you do stuff with them. So today I'm going to show you how I'm going to grow some Coomera slips. So unlike potatoes which grow from tubers, and I've got some over there, my house is filled with things that are kind of sprouting. Um, unlike potatoes which you can plant as um, whoop, seed potatoes and chip them on top and stuff, Coomera actually grow from slips. And you can grow slips off any um, Coomera that you actually have. Um, it just takes a little bit of preparation beforehand. Um, it's kind of cool because they're almost like an indoor plant, which are pretty low maintenance. Um, and then you can do some things to them afterwards to grow some more roots on your slips and then you plant them. So the whole idea of this is we're going to see how many we can get off these ones. I'll show you what I've got going. And then when we sort out our weed patch downstairs, um, we will put some kumaras in there and see how many we can grow. Um, they like full sun, well-drained soil. Kumara will... Um, They'll go digging, like you've got to have quite a hard pan at the base, otherwise they, they send their um, shoots down and you have to, you know, dig out your whole garden to get your cameras out. Um, yeah, full sun, good food, and you should get some stuff. I mean, even if we got little ones like this, we know that the person behind the camera will eat them because he's demonstrated that <laughs> before. <laughs> so, I'm going to drop these down here, and so I've got two jars here. This one here has a strawberry on it. Um, we we strawberry picking last year, and... Um, Tom and Finn made me some cool stickers for our jar. So this is a Tom strawberry. They're a bit washed off. Yeah. So they've been through the dishwasher. And that's a Finn strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> so we made strawberry jam, which is really cool. And honestly, like, it was really easy. I was a bit stressed out about, you know, am I going to poison everybody by, you know, what is it you can get in things like botulism? It probably doesn't happen in fruit um, by not boiling the jars and stuff. But it appears to have gone okay. <laughs> We're still alive. <laughs> We're still alive. And it's Finn's favourite jam, so, like, that's always real cool. So what I'm going to do is try and find a Kumara. I've already got this one. We picked it up from the supermarket. This was 53 cents. I'm going to try and find one that is going to fit quite nicely in this jar. Oh, bang! This jar, because this one is going to go in here. Um, and you need room to kind of try and get it out. This is the bottom of the Kumara. You can already see that there are roots um, that are growing off. And this is the part that was attached to um, the plant in the ground. So this is where some roots are going to come from. And this is the top. Um, I might have it the wrong way around, but from everything that I've seen and what I've done previously, that's how that one works out. So we're going to try and find one that's going to do the same um, for a another little one. I wonder how many I could get out of a tiny one. <laughs> oh, maybe let's see. Let's see what we can do with this one. So this one already has some like little eye points and things like that. It's a bit of a hairy one. Kuma is so weird. So maybe we can see how many slips we can get off this one. There you go. So I'll put these back away for you to eat. <laughs> <laughs> well, you might make roasties for all of us. That would be pretty cool. And then what you've got to do is you grab some toothpicks and 
you literally just find the point of the Kumara. So put some cold water in. Make sure it's all clean and stuff. The jar, not the water. I don't think the water really matters. Okay. I'm going to fill it up to the top. And then you want to find the point of the Kumara where you can get the, most of it as submerged as possible without overflowing. So you can kind of see those marks there. I'm going to put my toothpicks to hold it in the... Um, to hold it down in the water so it doesn't fall all the way in, just by those marks. So you just literally shove them in. I'll do four. I'll show you what happened to my other one where I took some out. I didn't do four. So then you just pop it in like this. Oh well, it's a bit high, but that's okay. So what should start to happen is from the bottom, we should start to see some roots growing. And that happens like it's almost like they grow overnight. It's really strange. And then you should start to see some slips and some green shoots coming up and they'll grow. And then you'll have stuff to cut off and plant cameras. So that'll be cool. So pop that one there. I'll just quickly do the tiny tuba. I don't know why I said it like that, but it's fun. So I feel like this is probably going to be the bottom because we've already got some really type action going on there. And I think this might just be a small one. Two, uh, yep, two, pick, two toothpicks. Yeah, I found it out of Kumara. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you have the best camera ever. We haven't even brushed your hair this morning, have we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll put those there. And so the whole idea of this is to actually grow some purple ones. Um, and we'll keep you updated, um, just give you some photos and stuff. Um, and show you when we plant them. And this one here is literally how many wheat creamers we can get from something tiny. But if you come this way, you can see my... I've taken over like where we used to keep cookbooks um, to grow stuff. So obviously this is not a kumara, it's a plant. I have no idea. It's an indoor one and it's pretty, haven't killed it yet. But these are the kumaras that I have done previously. So maybe I will take them off and I'll bring them over to the um, bench and I'll just take them out and show you what is happening. So I think these ones were done probably about maybe a month ago. Something like that. I think, yeah. So they, they're both golden kumara. Um, I had to redo this one as in put it in a new jar. Whoa. So <laughs> here is the root mass in the bottom. And this is a combination of both what's coming out of the bottom and little um, roots that are coming down from these little um, growth points here. So everything on here is a viable plant. So you can cut these off and they'll grow roots and then you can put them in your garden and you'll have Kumara. So I'm just, I need to take some of these and the whole idea, I need to come and take them off is because we're starting to get a little bit of softness and, and rot through here. So it's kind of almost done its dash in the water. So I'll show you an example of what I've done before, but you can basically just, if they've got roots, I don't really have a good example, maybe this one. I can pull this one off, take the roots with it, and then you put it in some water. And then it will continue to grow, and this will get more greenery on it and take in more sun, more energy, and then you'll get a kumara slip that you can plant in the garden. It will take you along when we eventually do that. So I don't know, I think there's probably about 12, 13 on here. So there's 13 kumara plants from one golden kumara. Now I just keep this, make sure I keep the water topped up. I clean it out about once a week. You've got your calf in. Yeah. Tuck it all in. And this is another one. This one was a bit smaller um, and it kind of got off to a really weird start. It didn't do it a heck of a lot, but it's growing a little bit differently. So a lot of its tubers and stuff are coming from the bottom. And you can start see it's starting to get a little bit soft and stuff in there. So it's almost done its thing. But sorry, tubers, ugh, slips, shoots, plants. So around here, you can see heaps of them growing. That one snapped off a little bit, took that away. Um, so that's almost ready to pull off and we've got some more nice new growth coming out of here. So I don't know, I reckon we're going to get, just from these two alone, about 20 slips. So Good. then we have to keep them alive when we put them in the ground. 
which has always been the challenge for us, me, previously. Um, and so this is one that I've done before. This is one I snapped off here um, just to see what was going on. So you can see the tiny little bit of um, Kumara uh, thingy. What's it called? Tuba. Kumara tuba. Or is the it? Kumara... Slip. What, what no, this is the actual Kumra flesh. Oh, right, okay. That sounds so gross. <laughs> Kumra flesh that was attached oh. in here. Combined with those roots. I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit of Kumra there. And you can see it's been in here for probably, I don't know, five days. And we've got some more roots coming off the side, including up here. So that's really awesome. I might just take this off um, because that's going to be under the ground anyway. We want it to grow a whole lot of roots. And then we're going to chuck it in the garden. So this is just a bit of an experiment to make sure that what I had seen people say to do and was going to work. Um, so yeah, that's how you can start to basically get your own Kumara slips and you can grow, you can get them from the garden center and all that sort of stuff, um, which is, you know, you do you, do whatever's easiest, but I kind of figured that we had some, Tom hadn't eaten at that point. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I planted that one, I bought this one, he replaced this one and I wanted to dry and grow some purple ones. So all up, I kind of feel that probably for maybe 24 things we'll get about, um, it will cost about $3 for um, everything here. We have the toothpicks and like a water, whatever. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty economical way of, of getting yourself started. Um, and it's something that we do eat a lot of and they apparently they store quite well. I don't know where I'm going to put them. <laughs> um, I'm sure Tom will get through them in a week. I don't know. Um, but we've got a little bit under the house that maybe we can make a little bit less damp and put them in paper bags, something. I don't know. But it's going to be pretty cool. So $3, about 24 slips so far. Who knows what we'll get off these. This will be really interesting. Um, and you've got yourself some Kumras for roasting, chips, mashing, baked Kumara with satay sauce. Hungry now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching. And if you've got any questions or have done something wrong or you've got some advice, chuck it down there in the comment thingy because gardening is all about learning. And um, whilst I'm using the knowledge that, <laughs> whilst I'm using the knowledge that I have from when watching my mum and dad uh, grow vegetables growing up, and obviously you know everything I see around the net, um, there's also so much knowledge out there that if we can share, will be retained, um, and that just helps us all be more successful going forward. With any luck. Um, I still have to follow that bit of advice to water regularly. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> See how that goes. <laughs> Bye guys. Okay, so here is the final addition or addition to the video um, about growing your own Kumara slips because we started it and there's been some things happen so that you could see the whole process. Um, so here's the last one, including the how many can I grow for 50 or so cents. Um, there's a different stages of... Uh, <laughs> growth and death on this thing. I'm going to take this one away. Um, it's on camera and I need to cut it back, but we'll rescue that later. So <clears throat> here we have the first lot of tubers that we planted. These were the ones that we did in the kitchen. They're both golden camera and they've had all of their slips removed. And then we grew some more. We didn't, they did. Um, so you can see the massive um, roots underneath and I change the water um, a couple of times a week. Um, you can see it's getting progressively slimier but each time these come off, I pop them off, more grow. So there's going to be a point in time where um, this just needs to stop because <laughs> I'm running out of room. Um, this is the other one, I just removed these the other day um, and we've got some smaller ones on the side here which obviously can come off but um, I'm running out of room and places to put them. And so from these ones, this, they're both golden Kumara and this is what I've got. So between them, I counted them the other day and there's 20 slips in here. So that's 20 new Kumara plants that we can plant from two Kumara, um, Kumara. tubers. Kumara. <laughs> Um, and so if I pull one out, I'll show you what it looks like. They've been in here for a couple of days now, these ones, and they're just plants with long roots ready to go on the ground. Some are bigger than others, and I found that the, the golden Kumara don't um, vine as much as the purple ones, which we'll show you. So these are the first ones. Now, hi Finny, you're back. Um, the second um, ones, and these were the ones that we grew from the 50 cent Kumara. Remember the ones that Tom ate? The, the, 
This is the kitty Kumara. That's the kitty Kumara. <laughs> and because it had whiskers. <laughs> this is the golden yeah, one, 56 cents, and this is the purple one, um, which was also about 90 cents. And you can see there's a massive difference in their growth. Because I'm going to show you how to pop off the sides and really just how to put them in water. And to be honest, I was a bit weirded out the first time I did it because I sort of felt like I was taking something off, something that was the energy source. Um, but clearly you can see them still growing in the water. They're totally fine. <clears throat> and so the other thing we're also going to do with these purple ones is we're going to actually cut these in half and pop them in the water because we can get, in theory, where I cut these, they should actually start to send out more roots and we'll get basically two slips from one that are grown off the Kumara. Um, this has been about, I don't know, three weeks, I think. Maybe three weeks since we put this one in the, yeah, something like that. In the jar. So what we, you can see what we do here is you've just got to basically find, go all the way down and find your stalk and literally just pop it off the side. And it feels really counterintuitive. Like, I don't know about you, but it feels as though I'm ripping this to pieces. Yeah. But off like, he comes. Looks like you're breaking it, almost yeah. there. Off he comes with his roots pop in the water. Quick. We're just going to continue to do that. That's good. There's some leaves underwater. Yeah. It's fine, right? We, yeah, you can strip the leaves off because... See, you feel so rough. Mm. I might just lie them down here because I want to try and pop them all um, in at once at the same height so that we need to, we might need to strip some of the leaves off as well, otherwise they'll go a bit weird. So literally just ripping it off the side of the camera. Here you've got two. You can separate them. You can see they're already starting to vine and grow. So take this one off. So what, we're up to four so far? Five. Oh! <laughs> Camera is being attacked by Kumar. Oh, so, yes. Yeah. That's probably 10,000. Oh, that's a whole lot coming off at once. That's probably 10,000. Eight. Seven. seven eight, eight. Nine. Wow. It's a tiny one. Nine. Oh, what a feeder. Nine. Ten. Yeah, that is cute. This is one of the long ones. Ta Eleven. Eleven. So we're just going to cut him just here. Eleven, twelve. Yeah, so we have I'll twelve. Just take that off. So we have thirteen. So we and have twelve. And then rip this off here. So he's got roots, and we'll pop him on here. He doesn't, and we're just going to pop him in the water. And we'll just see how it goes. I mean, it might grow roots, it might not. But, I mean, we've got plenty here as well. Um, so, c the ripping continues. I know, it's really funny, Finny. He comes off here. He comes off here. Oh, that's another viney one. And he comes off. Uh, 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 there. And you see you've still got more, there's just so many of them growing around, it's a bit crazy. So we'll let them, give them a chance to grow, we'll pop them back in the water, and sort of put him back in the glass just like this, let him do his thing. That's the dishwasher reminding us that we had to turn them on. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, five. six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Kumara mm. slips. And you forgot the baby one. I know. I think I'll do something different with that. <laughs> so we're just gonna try and get the roots in the water, pop them in, 16. and we'll just leave them in there. So just give them a chance to maybe grow some roots. And then, oh, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna chop this one because it's going to go a bit crazy otherwise. And then I'm going to give some to my neighbors. Um, so we've got some neighbors who say, yes, they'd love some. Um, and this is the one from the little tiny 56 cent um, camera. So um, again, 
the kitty coomera. The kitty coomera. So again, we would pop these off. I am going to leave this in the water for a little bit longer. Um, I mean, I have 20 something golden slips now and I don't have the space for them all. Um, but I will um, fill this up with a bit more water, pop them off, um, and then when we go to plant them, we'll know how many we got off here, how many we got off here, and then we can decide how many when we harvest later on. I think it's like autumn. <clears throat> These have like a quite a long growing time. Um, I will do some more research on that. Um, but then we can figure out how many kumara we got off the number of um, tubers that we actually grew up from. So yeah, that's how you, that's how I've chosen to propagate my um, kumara slips this year. Um, clearly uh, the the red kumara or the purple kumara that I got was incredibly, incredibly. <laughs> The red coomera I got was, um, the purple coomera I got was incredibly um, prolific, so I got heaps off there in a very sh uh, small period of time. The gold ones are a bit slower, um, but good things come to those who wait, and honestly, golden coomera is my favourite. So yeah, we've got a lot of coomera here um, in varying stages of readiness to plant, so we've just got to get that garden outside fixed up. Um, and then when I plant them, I'll show you, we'll do the potatoes and the coomera together um, in the same video. And then we get to see if we can keep them alive. <laughs>